Use um, a lot of uh, rock climbing equipment just as accessories, things like this. You can go online and find them for rocks, rock climbing sites, lanyards. Got these little uh, carabiners, nice for snapping things on. Now, the thing I need to tell you is these are not rated for human suspension, okay? This has only a single clasp not a double locking clasp. I don't do rock climbing, but supposedly rock climbers will hang from this off of a large cliff. I think they're crazy. I want to bring it up just because these things are fairly economical. They last forever. I've got a whole bunch of them on my harness. Just good for hooking stuff up, but not, not for hooking you up. If you're going to use something that is going to support a human being like my seat harness that I climb with. Everything has double lock, okay? You cannot get that gate open without first pushing this in and then opening it. Can't come open, so that's what you got to have. Carabiners, which are rated for human loads are also a double lock you can't and there's different styles of this some of them you twist some of them you screw on all kinds of different equipment you can't open that up by accident this one is a twist twist and then open and this is rated for human beings so if i'm going to come up and rescue you like i say you're going to have a full body harness on you're going to be hanging from something of this caliber not the little cheap orange one. The way to know if this is rated for, shall we say, human consumption, is you look on here and there's gonna be somewhere on here an ANSI standard of Z.359. That means that it is legal for a human load. And you'll see stampings on all this stuff, like this somewhere on here has Z359. All that stuff is what you want to look for. So I just wanted to bring that up to you. Um, make sure you don't get in trouble by using the wrong equipment. Anything you buy online from any of the uh, safety vendors are all going to be Z359 rated, chances are. The rope I use a lot of times for uh, lifting loads. And by loads, I mean tower sections, antennas, brackets, anything we're going to either pull up mechanically or uh, by hand is something like this. This is half inch double braid polypropylene rope. You don't really want to use nylon rope because nylon rope stretches. This stuff just doesn't stretch. The double braid means it does, just doesn't tangle up. You can put this in a bucket or a garbage can and it just spools itself right out. The half inch is nice just because you can get a good grip on it. Another rope I used, I think this is a quarter inch, still the same double braid uh, polypropylene so it doesn't kink. I usually use this for uh, tag lines when you're putting antennas up, keeping it steered. I have two of them on there. It's also nice and light. There's other ropes you can use if you want something really light. I usually hook one of these onto my harness every time I climb because you get up there, you drop something, you forget something. Um, it's easier to have a rope with you as opposed to coming back down to uh, get something that you need. And getting into the rock climbing equipment, I always just keep one of these little guys snapped onto my harness. You can use whatever you want. This is act here again. This is this is for rock climbers. Some some person would put their life on this. I I can't imagine it. But I use it for. Um, Pulling up light loads on a, on a tower, if I forget something, I can uh, just kind of use that as a little pulley. A ground man can pull that up to me, if so being. And these little lanyards I showed you, here, even with this, with light loads, I just never connect 
anything to these tower rungs on their own towers. I've bent these. If you start lifting something heavy, especially on room 25, you can bend it. So I always carry a bunch of these in my harness and I just go around the leg and with one of these carabiners, snap it on and away you go. Like I say, all kinds of styles of these. You can get them with pivots, you can get whatever you want, whatever suits you, but this kind of stuff really makes your life a lot easier. So I'm going to show you how to uh, rig a load on a tower, what I consider the easy way. For, for lifting loads other than just, you know, a uh, bucket with some tools in it or another bottle of water, I use these uh, snatch blocks. These are primarily used by uh, the electric company for rigging. They're aluminum frame. They actually don't weigh very much. And it's rated at 1,250 pounds. So you put the rope through there and then drop the pin in here. And away you go. You take the rope back out. Pull the pin, comes apart, and get your rope out. So I, I have one of these here on the tower. Imagine this is up at the top of the tower, even though it's obviously not. I take my half inch rope. Put it in the block. And there's my load. Now, you may have this uh, desire to just lift it up like this, and you can do that. But if it's anything heavy, it's best to put a second one down here. Uh, now we're all rigged up. So we got the rope coming down the tower. Got a rope down here. This does two things for us. One is, one is as we lift this load up the tower, you can go way back there and not be underneath whatever it is you're lifting. If you're just pulling straight down, you're standing under the load, which is never a good idea. Another thing, as when I was climbing, I told you these thigh muscles are the strongest muscles in your body. So when you're pulling, even with a rig like this, if you're pulling with your arms, you can only lift so much. If you wrap this rope around your waist, don't tie it. Just do a couple of loops. And you start leaning back and walking back. You can pull much heavier weight. You can also hold the load in position if the guy up on the tower wants you to steady it there. All you got to do is kind of lean back. You're not really going to get fatigue. If you're holding it down with your arms, your arms are going to start to ache. This way you can lift a lot heavier. Like I say, don't tie it because if disaster befalls, you want to be able to just drop that and not get pulled into the tower. First thing is I'll, I'll just show you here real quick how this good quality half inch rope lays in a tub. See, there's no tangles whatsoever. It'll just come right out of there. That's why you buy good quality double braid rope. So I bring up, bring out my cap sandwich for a couple reasons. One is it, it is a, a nice tool to use. I think it's a lot safer than pulling a load up with a pickup truck because pickup trucks, you just don't really know. You can't tell if something's getting jammed up there. Cap sandwich, you can feel it. You can hear it. Um, and I also bring this up because anything, any kind of a pickup truck, lawn tractor, capstan winch, you got this half inch rope. Frankly, it's rated pretty good load, but it is not for raising and lowering human beings. Absolutely, positively, never ride a line up and down a tower. If you're not comfortable climbing or you're not physically able to climb, it's going to cost you some money, but hire a professional tower crew.